one turned pro back in 2016 in Cebu. And he beat a Filipino, Michael Roda, in a four-round decision in that fight. Right now, let's turn it over to ring announcer Mark Luntayao. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is six rounds under featherweight category. Let us now call on our first fighter from the blue corner, fighting out of fight factory boxing gym, the Philippines, Landy Chris Leon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us go on here inside the ring. His opponent from the red corner. He is the fighting pride of Singapore, the chosen one, Mohammed Redwan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are still live from the beautiful city of Resorts World Manila here in Pasay City, Philippines. Well, tonight, Senator Manny Pacquiao's MP Promotions and Scott Patrick Farrell's Ring Star Asia in association with Sandman Promotions and Omega proudly present Rising Stars, sponsored by Resorts World Manila, Extreme Philippines, Show My House, and Pound to Pound Fitness. And we are shown live here in the Philippines on ABS-CBN Sports and Action and live in over 40 countries worldwide. This bout is sanctioned by the Games and Amusements Board Chairman Abraham Khalil B. Mitra, Commissioners Ed Trinidad and Marma Sangid, and Chief for Pro Boxing and Other Contact Sports, June Bautista. The three judges at ringside scoring this contest in a 10-point must system will be Sami Bernabe, Gerald Tomeldan, and Eduardo Nobleza, and when a bell rings, the referee in charge of the action, ladies and gentlemen, the veteran attorney, Danrex Tapdasan. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with white, official weight, 124 pounds. He has a professional record of 11 victories, 18 defeats, five draws, with five of his victories coming by way of knockout. He's fighting out of Fight Factory Boxing Gym, the Philippines. Here's Landy Chris Leon. <laughs> and his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with black. Official weight, 127 pounds. He has a record of 11 victories, only one defeat with eight of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is a three-time Southeast Asian Games bronze medalist, the former WBA Asia Super Featherweight Champion, former IBO Intercontinental Featherweight Champion, and the fighting pride of the Lion City, the Singapore, fighting out the legends fight sport, the chosen one, Muhammad Redwan. Six rounds. I want you to have a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Okay? Touch gloves. Good luck to both of you. Our second 
fight of the night. Six rounds. And here we go. And this is in the featherweight division. And Anthony, you see Scott Farrell, the CEO of Ringstar Asia, in the corner of Mohammed Ridwan of Singapore. And that shows you the kind of support Ringstar Asia is giving Ridwan. We did say he turned pro in the Philippines. He has beaten three Filipinos so far in his career. As we mentioned, he's already signed up to fight in a rematch. The only man who has beaten him, Paulo Sambunda, that'll be on July 19th. But he's got to be able to take care of business first, right here, right now, against Chris Leon. Well, Chris Leon will try to steal some of the fireworks here, if he possibly can. He wants to introduce himself to a worldwide audience, Kinito. Well, Chris Leon, you know, he's, he's a journeyman. He's fought uh, twice in China. He did score a knockout in China against a Thailander. He's also fought in Japan. So he's seen a lot of action in different countries. And you see him now taunting Ridwan, smiling after getting a shot from Ridwan. You know, Ridwan might be probably the best boxer to come out of Singapore, Kanito. I think so. Um, some mocking tactics here being shown by Leon. But looks like Ridwan is unfazed. He's a smooth boxer. We're talking of Ridwan. He did win those uh, bronze medals in the Southeast Asian Games. He's a polished amateur fighter. And now in the pros, he's trying to bring that winning tradition. Nice combination that time by Ridwan. That right getting in, but not too much power behind it. Doing the stalking here early is Chris Leon. Nice landing there. Again, the combination coming from Ridwan. Leon throwing some punches to the body. When they're coming close together, you see Leon trying to sneak in some body shots. Under a minute remaining in round number one. Leon fighting out of the southpaw stands. Not Looking too much damage some, done here, Kenito. Go ahead. Yeah. But you see Leon trying to find his rhythm and keeping a safe distance away is Ridwan. He wants to dictate tempo from a distance using that reach advantage and plus that left jab which he keeps pumping. Keeping uh, Leon away. And then some shots there by Ridwan. And then Leon coming right back. More of a feeling out, Ron, more than yep. anything else here. Yeah. Round number one is over. A little more precision in the punching of Ridwan in that round. And Leon looking a little wild in some instances. So he needs to be able to settle down and get his punches together. This round's best action is brought to you by Show My House. And that's a combination punching right there, coming from Ridwan and then Leon coming back with the right hand. And then pushing Ridwan towards the ropes and locking his head in a reverse headlock and going down on his knees. That looked like a takedown more than anything yeah. else for mixed martial arts. A very close first round, I would say. Very close. You can make a case for either fighter. As we enter now round number two, attorney Dan Rekstabdasan saying, let's do it. And again, it starts out just like what we've seen in the first. A lot of feeling around. Missed punches from both fighters. Right connecting, but again, not too much power behind that one from Ridwan. And you see that Leon is turning this into a brawl. He's sticking close to Ridwan, realizing that Ridwan, Ridwan has that combination punching from a distance. So he doesn't want Ridwan to set up. He's crowding him, and as Ridwan comes in, he throws that big right hand and ties him up. 
That's a smart strategy, Kenito. Yeah. He's trying to throw Ridwan's rhythm off track. And, and obviously Leon. you can see Ridwan is not yet in a groove. Well, he's trying to figure out what kind of uh, style he needs to be able to throw off Leon. Leon is being very aggressive, being, being like the brawl, brawler that he is. Remember, he's got a lot of experience. He's fought overseas. He also has a lot of losses to his name. But he's had 34 fights against only 12 fights for Ridwan. So experience in the side of Leon. Seen a lot of action through the years. Can he use that advantage here? He's trying and trying early. You know, despite the uh, edge of Leon in experience, he's actually younger than Ridwan. He's 27 years old. Ridwan is 31 years old. Ridwan turned pro at a late age because of an extended amateur career fighting for Singapore in the Southeast Asian Games. Ridwan saying no impact. Actually, no real big punch from either fighter. And here comes Leon. Both of them smiling at each other. Leon actually doing a jo good job here in the second round. You know, I feel that Ridwan is a little bit intimidated by Leon. The way Leon has been moving that time. Left hand connecting that jab. Finding the mark against Leon. Now, Ridwan has to be more active. He's got to throw those punches in combinations. Oh, that time, Leon connecting just as Ridwan was coming in. Ridwan smiling at uh, Leon. There's actually Ridwan you know, smiling here. Can he yeah. do the actual punches thrown? And Leon connecting once more. He just missed a big right hand, a uh, left hand rather. Now, That's Ridwan coming enter. back. There you go. Some nice combination punching and some uppercuts thrown here by Ridwan. Great finish there by Ridwan. But did he do enough to take that round? That's, That's a, a big very, question mark. Very good question, Kenito. Yeah. Looked like Chris Leon controlled most of that fight, but that late flurry just might have stolen the round as we take a look at the round's best action brought to you by Pound for Pound Fitness. You see the slow-mo action from round number two as Leon being very aggressive and connecting with the right hand just as uh, Ridwan was slipping away. Ridwan had that late flurry, but as you said, Anthony, Leon appeared to control the action from the start of that round. Let's see if Ridwan's gonna be able to make some adjustments because it seems like the brawling tactics of the veteran here, the gentleman with more fights, Chris Leon, is really dictating the fight. Well, it's a tough challenge here for Ridwan. He's got to be able to show a lot more than what he has shown so far. Let's see if round three will be it here for Ridwan. That time Ridwan connected with a shot just as Leon was coming in. Leon wild with that shot. We'd like to remind everybody to follow Ringstar Asia on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Ring Star Asia. Again, distance fighting here coming from Ridwan. And Leon pulling Ridwan down. That's the second takedown that he has done in this fight. That scores no points, Kinito. Yeah, but I think he's going to get a warning here from referee Ra Dan Rex and that's the second time that he's done it. So he's roughhousing. You know, this is Jeff Horn. This is Jeff Horn that's all over again. With Manny Pacquiao, yeah, exactly. Trying to roughhouse... Uh, Mohamed Ridwan and his idea is just to throw Ridwan off his rhythm. Well, it worked for Jeff Horn, Kinito. Let's see if it works yeah, here for yeah, Chris well, Leon. I thought maybe the judges uh, shouldn't have scored it the way they did in that fight against Horn and Pacquiao. Not to mention the fact that the referee didn't do his job. Right, referee Mark Nelson in that fight. But here, referee Tapdazan realizing that uh, Chris Leon needed to get... Uh, a warning, rather a stern warning for what he's been doing in roughhousing Ridwan. Next time he does it, he might get a point deduction. Oh yeah, I would think so. Now Ridwan being a little bit more aggressive here. He wants to show everybody that he is taking control of this fight. Well, I thought in round number one he was precise with his combinations. And then uh, in the second round, 
Leon sort of took the initiative. Some punches to the body and they're way below the belt here coming from Leon. Uh, he's really rough housing, he's brawling. On well, the corner of Leon going nuts. They feel that oh, their nice fighters shot. got the advantage that right really connected. But and Ridwan comes right back. Oh, great recuperative powers there by Ridwan. He took a shot, a right uppercut, and then Ridwan coming right back. Not wanting to give Leon an edge. Action really picking up here. That is a big left. Ridwan on his heels. But you know, he, he settles down very quickly. If he gets hit, he adjusts and comes right back. Doesn't seem like he gets faced, Kinito. No. I thought he might have been intimidated back in round number two. But I think he's got his wits together. They trade punches once again. Leon throwing shots here. But Ridwan appears to be the better conditioned fighter. Ten seconds. Great third round. The crowd on its feet. Leon is missing a lot of good defense here by Mohamed Ridwan. And that's the kind of action the fans are enjoying here at Resorts World Manila. This sports special is brought to you by MP Promotion, Ring Star Asia, Sandman Promotion, Omega Sports, Resorts World Manila, Extreme, Show My House, Pound for Pound Fitness, International Boxing Federation, Sports in Action. Around the world. I would like to welcome everybody back to Rising Stars, brought to you by MP Promotions and Ringstar Asia, in cooperation with Omega and Sandman. Round number four of a scheduled six-round bout. The crowd going wild, not just because of the fight, but the senator, Manny Pacquiao, is already in the house. We're in round number four. It's been a very competitive fight so far. I thought in round number three, Leon showing signs of running out of gas. And, you know, the better conditioned fighter is going to win this fight. That's for sure. Ridwan connecting that time with some punches just as Leon was coming in. Well, the action has really picked up here. A lot of the people's attention now outside of the ring because even Ron Artest has finally arrived, Kinito. Ron Artest with his son, Jeron Artest. Guests of Senator Pacquiao. Nice left there from Ridwan. Wanted to take control of this fight as early as he possibly can. Nice uppercut scored there by Ridwan. Now he's connecting with frequency and now and starting to go to the body back to the head great action here coming from Ridwan oh but Ridwan is down that's real the slip they say four five no oh, they're six, counting a knockdown seven, they're giving him eight. a knockdown okay no Box. was that a knockdown it is a knockdown they gave him a standing eight okay the mandatory eight count was told by referee Dan Rex Tapdazan and that's a 10-8 round right there for Leon. Ridwan getting a little careless that time. And we need to be able to see that on the replay. Was that a clean punch? Was that a slip? I thought at, at that stage, Ridwan had the better of the exchanges. I agree. Right now, he knows he's got to come back. And here we go. Here's Mohamed Ridwan. Three of those punches yeah. connecting Kenito. Well, I, you know, I don't think Leon has too much left. It's round number four, we've got two more rounds. Leon is badly running out of gas. But he's smiling, Kinito, he's taunting Ridwan. Ridwan still throwing some shots. Now this is turning to a very interesting fight. There's a counter right hand coming from Leon, he's still fighting back. 
under 30 seconds here in round number four. And it looks like Leon is now stalking Ridwan, but Ridwan still throwing the cleaner punches. Well, he's moving around. He's moving away from, Rid from Leon, and he's still throwing shots from a distance. That's where he wants this fight. Oh, nice shot there coming from Leon. Ridwan is feeling the power of Leon. And it looks like there is a cut there on the right eye of Ridwan, but he looks to his corner and says he's okay. But Leon has got to be the happier man after round number four. This round's best action is brought to you by Omega Sports. Let's watch it right here. Oh, I don't know if that was a punch. It'll be nice if we can and see that again. Watch it right here. Here, Ridwan was on the attack. And we'll get a clarification from, oh, we have the WBA World Weight Champion Senator Manny Pacquiao in the house. Eight division world champion. He is one of the two promoters of this event. Heading MP Promotions together with Ring Star Asia. As we enter round number five. Round number five. Oh, we just got clarification from the Games and Amusements Board. Yes, there was a knockdown that was scored by Chris Leon against Ridwan. So that will be an automatic 10-8 round for Chris Leon. And look at that left connecting there for Leon. Leon is now smiling, trying to taunt Ridwan. Probably saying, not in my house, we're fighting the Philippines. Ridwan now under the gun. Scheduled for six, we're in round number five. Ridwan going down in round number four for an eight count. Let's you picks up the pace here in round number five. Scheduled six rounder. Now this is gonna be a major upset. If somehow Chris Leon manages to beat Mohamed Ridwan, Leon with a record of 11 wins and 18 losses and five draws against Ridwan who has only lost once in 12 fights. What an upset it will be if Leon manages to win this one. Let's see if Leon tries to go back to his rough housing tactics because it seems like he might be ahead in the scorecards here. So we're not quite sure what the judges exactly scored in the first three rounds. Well, if you gave two of the first three rounds to Muhammad with one, you would have uh, Leon now ahead by one in the scorecards. So this fight is still up for grabs. You can see Leon feeling a little bit more comfortable here. Ridwan trying to push the action. And Leon continuing to taunt and intimidate Ridwan by saying that he's not affected by any of those punches thrown by the Singaporean. Now we didn't expect this level of competitiveness in this fight. A lot of the people thought that it was going to be a kickwalk for uh, Mohamed Ridwan, but Chris Leon came here to fight. And he didn't want to be ashamed in no. front of his hometown fans. Uh, not in front of Senator Pacquiao, not in front of Ron Artes, not in front of the IBF Ratings Committee Chairman Anibal Miramontes. And not in front of the International Boxing Hall of Famer Nigel Collins. All of them watching the fights here at Resorts World Manila. So far, everybody loving every minute of the action. Again, the taunt coming from Chris Leon. Ridwan trying to come up with a big punch here in round number five. Continues to lead off with his jab. Mouth wide open here for Chris Leon. But then connecting with a nice left hand and oh, might have gone down once more at the sound but of the bell. That was a was punch. It right yeah. after the bell. We we can't seem to find out, but Danek Stamnasen says no. As we take a look at this round's best action, brought to you by Ring Star Asia. You watch it right here. The punching ability and the determination of Chris Leon 
Some shots scored here from close distance. And that's where Real One cannot afford to be. He can't afford to be too close to Leon because he gets hit that way. He needs to be able to establish a good distance for him to throw these long range combinations. But I thought he went down from a punch. I agree with you. Now, if that punch was thrown after the bell, then Leon should have been warned by the referee. He should have been told. That's a no-no. He threw a punch after the bell. And he brought down uh, Ridwan. It looked like it was very, very close, Kinito. It was close. Sixth and final round. Looking at both of them in their corners a while ago, Kinito, it looked like Ridwan was the more spent fighter. And here's Chris Leon, cocky, looking very confident. And looking at his losses, he's lost 18 fights in his career. We're talking of Chris Leon. 12 of those were by knockout. But the very experienced fighter, Chris Leon, trying to hold on, and there we go. That's another takedown. Well, he's done a good job of roughhousing Rid one. And now, suddenly, you can see Ridwan getting irritated with the roughhousing it, tactics. It looks, it looks like there's going to be a point deduction right there. There's a one-point deduction point, on Chris Leon. That's, one point, that's because of that one third point. takedown. Ah, intentional, huh? okay. yeah, referee Tap Dazan. And that telling, could be uh, telling, Kinito. Yeah, well, telling Chris Leon he's not going to take those things sitting down. Now, be, uh, giving him a point deduction. So Will that this, affect the result here, I'll, I'll tell you, This is a situation where if Ridwan is able to get this round, it'll be a 10-8 round right here. And remember, back in round number four, when, uh, when Ridwan went down, that was a 10-8 round for Chris Leon. So it's a situation that can be neutralized right here if Ridwan is able to win this round. He can get a 10-8 round as well, even without knocking down Chris Leon past the halfway point of but, the sixth and final round. And the question is, can he win this round? His final 70 seconds will be telling. And more Suddenly. punches being thrown here by Ridwan. Ridwan finding his range. The Singaporean throwing everything he's got. He feels this is his opportunity. And look, Chris Leon is holding on. He's exhausted, has 47 seconds left. Ridwan going for broke. Looking Rid to end this with a flourish. Ridwan Kirito wants this to be convincing. Yeah, he needs this round badly. This can be a 10-8 round for him. Under 30 seconds in our final a round. There's a nice shot. A There's another one. A right straight. Connecting for Ridwan. And more punches here. Connected by Ridwan. Everything connecting Kinito. The last five punches. Oh, this is a massacre. And it looks like he's going down. He's going down and he's down. Chris Leon. Obviously exhausted. The punishment. Oh, what a change of complexion here. Chris Leon going down. And Ridwan looking to finish off. Chris Leon, will he have time to do it? This might be a 10-7 round, Kinito. Yes, it will. It will be a 10-7 round indeed. Counting that point deduction and the big knockdown scored by Ridwan in the closing minute of that round. What an unbelievable recovery by Mohamed Ridwan down in the round number four. That was resiliency shown here by Mohamed Ridwan. This round's best action is brought to you by MP Promotions. Well, he wouldn't give up. Body shots connecting. And Chris Leon just couldn't take all that punishment to the side of the body, going down almost for the full count, but surviving and getting up to finish the fight on his feet. What a performance. Not just by Ridwan, but by Chris Leon. As you see, Senator Manny Pacquiao with Sean Gibbons. Manny Pacman 
Pacquiao. And you see Senator Pacquiao with his wife, Mrs. Jiki Pacquiao, their son Israel. And he also saw Ron our guest, Meta World Peace, in the building as a guest of uh, Senator Pacquiao. Everybody held in suspense. Who will win this fight? Both fighters scoring knockdowns. Leon getting a point deduction in round number six for his third takedown on Mohamed Ridwan. Ridwan is signed for his next fight July 19th. Well, Chris Leon really tried to play the spoilers role and he might have been able to turn the tables. Let's find out what the official decision will be. You know, this could be a draw or Ridwan could win this fight by the skin of his teeth. Tremendous action right there. And both fighters posing for a photograph. And so far, two excellent fights, Anthony. In this card called Rising Stars MP Promotions, Ringstar Asia, along with Omega Boxing Gym of Cebu and Sandman Boxing Stable of JC Manangkil of General Santos City. Well, Kinito, the best is still yet to come. Oh, yeah. Two IBF title eliminators to cap this night of action. Two co main events. As we now turn it over to our ring announcer, Mark Lontayao. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we will go to the scorecards. Judge Ed Noblesa scores the bout 56 to 55. He has it for Leon. Judge Gerald Tomeldan scores the bout 56 to 55. He has it for Red One. And Judge Sami Bernabe scores the bout 56 to 55 for the winner by split decision. Chris Leon. And Chris Leon has won this fight by a split decision. Oh, what an upset. What an upset. Chris Leon, a split decision. He went down in round number six. He scored a knockdown in round number four, but he was slapped a point deduction in round number six. Unbelievable ending, and that's boxing. Anything can happen. A journeyman, with a lot of experience, cocky, taunting. Mohamed Ridwan from the opening bell, scoring a major upset over the Singaporean. As we said, it'll be a night of great fights. Second fight is in the books. We'll be back for even more action in just a bit.